welcome to my drumroll pregnancy q and a i'm so excited to do this because i just feel like pregnancy is such an incredible time where like your body changes your cravings change your hair changes your skin changes and like i would love to uh take you guys on the journey with me especially just for my friends and family that are so far away as you all know, we are living in Hawaii. Uh, sorry I'm not speaking Hebrew for anyone watching that's in Israel. It's so much easier for me to speak in English. It's a long story, but basically I grew up in a home where we spoke English at home. I need to speak Hebrew more often. Um, definitely something I need to work on. But anyways, um, not gonna talk too much. Just gonna get straight into this Q&A. And I ask questions on different platforms and my friends. Um, so this is just random questions that I got all together. First question, what week are you on and how many months is that? So I am 21 weeks and a few days um, and I believe that is five months pregnant. Oh my gosh. I was confused about my date because when I went to my ultrasound, the lady at the ultrasound measured for bigger, so I kind of I thought that my due date would change because in the beginning they said November 20th and it was November 11th but we're back on to November 20th and hopefully I don't give birth on Thanksgiving because guess what I don't know if my husband's gonna be at Thanksgiving dinner or with me in the hospital I'm just kidding I know he'll be with me in the hospital but he will be a little bit bummed I think I'm just I'm just messing with him it's kind of a joke in uh, his family that if um, baby Z is born on uh, Thanksgiving, will Emmanuel be there or be at Thanksgiving dinner? So, how did Emmanuel react when you found out you were pregnant? So, it's a funny story actually. His mom was staying with us and we have a studio apartment so it's like teeny. I should do a house tour. I have been to do that. But anyways, what happened was, was that um, Emmanuel's mom was here and I took one pregnancy test and it for some reason I thought I was pregnant um, We were kind of trying we wanted to start uh, having trying to have a kid I did my first test it was negative blah 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 we didn't think a few days later I still really had a feeling that I was pregnant and so I took another pregnancy test and he was in the bathroom with me so I didn't have to surprise him or anything he was there sitting right next to me we freaked out like little kids. I wish I would have filmed it. We were just jumping up and down in the bathroom, freaking out while his mom is out here in the living room. Obviously we wanted to tell her, we just wanted to wait, figure out our thoughts, figure out what we thought, and then we wanted to start selling. And also we didn't want to tell her without uh, her husband Mark being here. So anyway, so that was that. It was kind of funny. We had to freak out silently in the bathroom. So his mom, <laughs> didn't know yet that I was pregnant. By the way, a lot of people think, or a lot of people have mentioned during think it's kind of early that you're getting pregnant because um, we've only, we were only married, uh, I believe two months when I got pregnant. And so a lot of people were like, don't you think that's a little fast? Uh, we, because when we were dating, it felt like it was a while and I lived with his family while we were dating. So I got to spend a lot of time with him, um, even though we were doing long distance. So it was kind of confusing. We wanted to have a baby so bad, which is funny because I never grew up being like, I want to have tons of uh, kids. Like I never talked about it too much about being a mom, but um, the more I saw how excited Emmanuel was, the more it made me excited to have kids sooner, I guess. And I really wanted to be a young mom. I think that's so fun. And I wanted to give my body enough time to like get back and also be able to be fit for my child. <laughs> So be able to run around with my child. How did you know you were pregnant? As I said before, I just, I don't know, I just, I guess I had this feeling that I was pregnant. I kind of had a feeling that I would get pregnant really quickly. If any of my friends are watching this, they're probably laughing because we all knew I would get pregnant really, really fast. I don't know why, just, it was like a joke thing between me and my friends. How is your mood? This is a good question. I feel like your mood is dependent kind of on what's going on. Something that really, <laughs> this is a little bit like TMI, but um, one thing that gets me really annoyed is, um, <laughs> so 
as my belly's growing and it's not too big yet but it is a little it, i mean it's growing a little bit i have a teeny little bump one thing that gets me really aggravated is if all my i went and bought a little bit bigger underwear because i'm usually like extra small small and so um i bought some mediums but i didn't buy like tons i just bought like a few and so whenever my medium <laughs> my medium underwear gets um like is dirty and i need to wash it and i have to go to wear small I don't know why I feel like suffocated all day and annoyed and pissed off because I do not like anything tight at the moment. Dude, like my shirt's loose, my shorts are loose, like it's just uncomfortable to have tight right now and when I have to wear tight, I get a little bit moody and my spicy side goes out a little bit more. Um, so that's one thing that gets my mood really bad. What else? I can't. I think when the house is really unorganized, that makes my mood bad. And I'd probably say my husband's mood bad too. 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 But, um, so we try to stay really organized because that's just something that I can't handle when it's really messy. And oh my gosh, another thing that's bothering me is we have these little ants in the house. I know this is, maybe this has nothing to do with pregnancy, but this is what makes my mood bad. I just get annoyed. I'm kind of the person that like, when I'm in a bad mood, I'm really quiet because I don't want to affect anyone with my negativity or whatever. So I'll just be a little bit more quiet and chill by myself, probably get on Instagram and like have my me time. How are you managing your body changing? Very badly. I, this is a really good question, but it has been hard for me. I, I usually get on the scale, like I usually weigh myself, but um, needing to weigh myself as I'm gaining weight is, I don't know, it's challenging and I tried to talk to other women about it. I haven't been able to talk to too many pregnant mamas because I have one friend here in Hawaii that she's pregnant too, so that's been fun for me because we get to talk a little bit. I kind of just process it with a mental poor man. from sometimes yes, I have to listen to my ranting but all that to say is that I'm learning to deal with it I'm learning to love my body as it changes I am still very like strict with what I eat because I eat very healthy I think sometimes I could be a little bit too strict but times like yesterday I ate a little ice cream with a man oil I wish I could eat a whole cone and be like oh I'm all good uh, that is still a little bit hard for me but I'm learning I'm learning and I, I think the best part about it coming from a background with a major eating disorder is that I'm really open about it. I'm not really ashamed of what I'm going through and I realize that it's something that I've had for a long time and so I process it with my sister, I process it with the manual and then I kind of talk through what's bothering me and what I'm afraid of and I have an amazing friend, shout out Maddie. We sit and have these long conversations about like different stuff we eat and like um, eating healthy and then the balance of just enjoying life too um, and I'm trying to learn how to be balanced that's the best way I could put it but I'm also like really loving the fact that I'm growing a human inside of me like that's something I forget I think my mind gets overwhelmed with these thoughts I think I posted something about this on Instagram how like we can be our own bullies in our mind and I feel like for so long I've bullied myself and learning to be kind to myself through my body changing and I think it's number one of me learning to put my baby before myself. There's this thing of, for example, my situation with eating, my baby comes before me um, and so taking care of the most important and eating healthy comes right along with that. That's a long answer. What things are you most looking forward to in motherhood? Mm. I'm so excited. This is so weird. Maybe this. Maybe some people are gonna think this is weird. But I'm. Oh, I, I need to say this again because I totally gave away the gender. Uh, answering this question, um, but I'm so excited that our baby is gonna run to me when um, he or she is in need of like comfort, love. Especially when you go into a new situation, like I always watch kids when they go into a new room, they cling to their parents just till they're comfortable with who's there, what's going on. I love that. I've never had someone like really need to like lean on me. And so I'm so excited that our baby is gonna look 
her love for me to support, to encourage, to feel safe, to feel loved. Are you working while pregnant? Yes. Um, Emmanuel and I own a business downtown of electric bikes, but our electric bikes are awesome. So we go there every day, but it's not super hard because Emmanuel, he takes care of me so well. So he makes sure I don't do too much, but at the same time, I can do everything. Like I don't feel any different than I did before, other than I can't stand up for very long. I feel like I either need to be like walking or uh, laying or something like that. I'm gonna ask myself, I'm gonna give myself a question. Have I been working out? I just started swimming a lot, which is awesome. I so recommend swimming, even if you're not pregnant. It's so fun, like it's such a good way for moms, I guess for pregnant ladies to cool down. My body temperature just really cools down when I'm in the water. I feel so relaxed and I just do laps for a while and I just, I feel so good afterwards as opposed to sometimes when I go walking or doing other stuff, I'm so hot afterwards. That's that. Glad you asked that question, Nava. How are you connecting with baby? This is really, I would love like advice from other women's, women about this or women that have been pregnant. I don't really know how to connect with our baby other than like just kind of putting my hand there and I feel like that comfort of like, I'm right here, you're okay, just throughout the day I'll do that. Like, or I'll remind the baby that I love the baby. <laughs> I want to tell you guys so bad. I'm really bad at singing. So I'm not sure Emmanuel nor the baby will like me singing, if you know what I mean. Um, just kidding, probably more Emmanuel and myself. I don't really like hearing myself sing. I'm very okay and confident with the fact that I don't have a good voice. Um, because people are always like, oh, why do you say that by yourself? I'm like, it's really okay. I mean, people have talents in some areas and are not talented in other areas. I would have loved to have a great voice, don't get me wrong, but I'm pretty okay with having a bad voice. But all I have to say is that I want to sing to the baby and be that like romantic mom that's like singing these cool songs over their kids, but I just, I can't really sing. So that's not really an option. So if you guys have any other ideas of how I can connect with baby, I'd love to hear. Did you want to get pregnant? Uh, I did, we did. Again, people were like, why do you guys want to have kids so fast? I don't know, just I guess who we are. We're really excited. We don't, we don't see how life will change too much. I mean, obviously life will change a lot. And Emmanuel is so good with kids. So I'm just excited for him to have his heart's desire and my heart's desire. So I think it, him getting excited makes me really excited. Oh, and from the um, ultrasound, Baby definitely has my lips and Emmanuel's nose, which is like my dream because he has the best nose in the whole world. So yeah. How much do you love your husband? Emmanuel 100% wrote this question. I love him a million, bazillion, bazillion. I think my love grows from every day. I was gonna say something really um, funny, but uh, I should take this moment to just say, ladies, finding yourself a man that loves you well is like, the best thing you will ever do. I think we, as he loves me better, I love him better, as I love him better, he loves me better, and as we love each other well, we're just really compatible in the house, and we're just, I don't know, we're, we just grow in our friendship, and like our, our understanding of each other, and we just have such a good time together. I love you, today. Cause someone asked me the other day, they are like, you spend all day, every day with your husband. like. Do you guys not need your space? Because my husband's training for the Ironman, we, he like goes and does his thing and I can make videos. And so, um, or I could like work on my Instagram, which I'm trying to like work on. So that helps, because he has his long time, I'm my long time, but honestly, I never get sick of him. I think it's because we both know how to give each other space. So what are your weird cravings? Okay, this is like my favorite question in the world. Okay, so for a while, I, I have to tell you guys a story. So I was great, I still am craving Israeli food whenever I'm on Instagram and I'm looking at Israeli people uh, and they're posting about different restaurants. I literally could cry. Um, I still could cry, I could probably cry right now in this video thinking about how much I love Israeli food. And people message me and be like, then like, why don't you just make yourself Israeli food? I can, I obviously do, but there's 
something special and different about tahini from Israel, hummus from Israel. It's just, it tastes better. Something is just different and it's what I'm used to. So I guess that makes sense. But um, okay, I was really craving pickles and I know you could say, just go buy pickles here. Mm -mm. Pickles in America are with vinegar. So uh, most people here like pickles and vinegar. I do not like pickles and vinegar whatsoever. I really like pickles and I think you say brines, which is like salt. So, and they don't really have them here in stores. So I was trying to figure out with my mom, how can we send me pickles from Israel? And then I know, I saw that they had them on Amazon. So I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna figure out a way to get Israeli pickles. I was in, um, I don't know, grocery, I was in a grocery store. I'm walking around, not looking for pickles. I'm walking, blah, 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 picking stuff up from the grocery store. I look to the side, oh my gosh, there was pickles from Israel, but like an Israeli brand. And I, I'm not gonna lie, I had tears in my eyes. I came to man, I was like, I found pickles. I did eat one of the cans basically in one day. My stomach really hurt. I don't recommend that. I was a little bit excited. Don't blame me. But yeah, pickles, Israeli food, is completely my craving, and I really like Marmite. I know, like, everyone's gonna be like, ew, but I do. I really like Marmite. My mom used to make us sandwiches for school. Uh, Marmite sandwiches, I got made fun of my whole childhood because of Marmite sandwiches, but that's what I'm craving while I'm pregnant. It's very, very, very salty. Like, really salty. Like, when my husband gets a bite out of my food, he's like, oh, that is too much. But, um, I'm gonna wait for Menel to come back and we'll tell you the baby gender.